I guess I always knew as a kid I was going to be an artist someday. I didn't know what that meant. Sometimes I think that I don't know what that means today. I just come out here and try to get to the bottom of stuff. It's in my head. Um, I, I'm often told that I'm one of the few people that I went to school with for art that still make things as a professional artist or someone who consistently makes a body of work that has to do with something they're interested in. And I find that hard to believe, but you know, that's something that we were told uh, in college that, that was not many of us would be continuing to make art after we graduated. It's been over 10 years since I graduated from graduate school and I'm still making art and showing work. And during that time when I went to, I went to the best seemingly or what would be considered the best schools in the country for art on the East Coast, a couple of the school best schools. Um, uh, and people asked me then and then they still ask me now how do I make a living or how do I make money making these kind of disturbing weird crap and, and for years I would you know rattle off my side job whether that be coaching or swimming or and, I, and many a times for years, I would say I teach too. But after seven of the worst years of my life teaching, I came to the realization that I'm not a teacher. At least not in the traditional sense of what they expect teachers to be now. I'm an artist. And now I've taken on the, the, the uh, taken on the ambition to make art full time and make a living at it. You know, when I first said that several months ago, I had no idea what that meant. I just knew that I couldn't teach anymore. It was killing me. I was easily 80 pounds overweight, uh, drinking way too much, eating horribly, sm smoking cigarettes way too much, not sleeping, you name it. I'm sure my, if I went to the doctor, the doctor would have put me on every prescription known to man to get myself together. I just couldn't do it. And I made a decision. I made a decision that I was going to see this thing through. I'm going to see Kindle projects through. I'm going to make something happen. I'm just going to stop diddle dallying around or half assing projects until due dates. And I was really going to produce and make things happen. And for the first time ever, I'm going to make the art that I feel that needs to be made. No apologies and no regrets. Some of it may be made to make money, but most of it's going to be made to satisfy some of this interest that I have in a, in a specific subject matter. And to all of you out there who are doubting me now, who have doubted me in the past, who shook their head at the idea of being an artist, who called me names, talked behind my back, I think it's time for you guys just to step aside. Because I'm going to prove you wrong. Prove you wrong with things that are difficult to digest, subject matter that's hard to confront. I'm going to make you laugh. 
I'm going to scare you. I'm going to make you have fun. I'm going to provide you with experience with the things that I make that you've never come in contact with before. And if I don't approach it like that, and if I don't come at it with that kind of passion, that kind of um, ambition, I think I'm selling myself short. I think I'm selling you short. Um, and I don't think it would be worth it for me or you. Now, in the several, last several weeks, I guess it's been 13 weeks, end of, this is end of week 13 of me making, starting the journey. And I'm still not sure exactly what's going to happen. I do have a blueprint. I have a plan. I know what I'm interested in. I just come out here every day and grind out on that list. And so, the reason I'm making this short broadcast, podcast, or whatever they're calling it now, is because I want to invite you on this journey with me. I want you to come back and see what we're posting, see the content we're creating, what's going on in this space how we're making things, what's going, what we're, what we're interested in, what, what show we're getting ready for. We just want you to come along with us and experience what we're trying to provide for people in our right now. So, with that said, I hope you come back and check us out. See you next time.